Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Now I know I look a bit crazy because I've literally just drew my eyebrows on because I wanted to save time in the video because my eyebrows just take me forever, especially now that they're overgrown. But I thought I would film today because I did do an order on Avon and I just ordered like five things like generally that I needed. So I needed a bronzer, um, a brow gel, a eyeliner and I got two lipsticks as well. But I'm not going to use them today because I don't want to wear red or pink lipstick. But I'll show you what they are. And yeah, so anyway, you guys like my hair. My hair care routine is now live on my channel as well, so I'll link that down below. Up to now, the brow gel is looking okay. It is actually really creamy, like a little goes a long way. And this is what it looks like. I'll also link everything else down below for you guys. And this is in the shade. This is in the shade. Um, soft brow. So I'm just going to go in with my Ramel. Um, oh, by the way, I have already moisturised pre-video. Um, and I actually need to go and get a new moisturiser sometime today or this week because I've run out. Because I don't use primers because I've not found the right primer. Um, with me having eczema, I can't find the right primer that's right for my skin. So I just literally moisturise before I do my makeup and I find that it's been alright that way. And yes, I know the foundation is a different colour to my skin, but that's fine. I done my makeup the other day with my normal like matching skin foundation and I just didn't like it. It's too white, like I don't know, like, I just pre pre prefer my foundation to be darker, like my makeup to be darker. Or like obviously you have to like blend it down your neck, you know, on your ears. Depending on what you're wearing, obviously then you'll have to do it on your chest as well, but like literally I just have to have it darker because I just feel like I look better. But yeah, I just thought, do you know what, I'm only in the house and I only had a few calls for work anyway, so I thought I'm gonna do my foundation, I'm gonna do my makeup, but I just didn't want it, I didn't want it to be like as like heavy. So I just um used my normal colour foundation for my skin and um, a bit of bronzer, a bit of highlighter. Done my brows with a eyeshadow instead of like the, the pomade. And it was okay. It just, I just wasn't feeling myself. Like I was like, mm, no. But it was a good job I was only in the house because, yeah. Else have a favourite part of like the face that they like doing the most when it comes to foundation. Mine is actually my forehead. Like, is that weird? It's weird, isn't it? By the way, if you wonder why I keep looking up, it's because I've got a big like, mirror in front of me on my dressing table. So, by the way, right, this is the Revolution Ultra Bronze Palette. All about bronze. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to go in with the Kuda shade um, I'm not going to do like a massive massive eye look, I think I'm just going to put this in the crease, blend it out. We're just doing a quick colour on the lid as you can see and yeah Ooh. 
Also, with me trying the Avon like bits and bobs that I bought, would anybody else like me to try any other makeup likes of Asda's own makeup, Tesco's makeup, Primark when it opens, um, you know, anywhere that you feel like you would like to just see me do a review on their makeup, then please leave a comment down below or feel free to message me on my Instagram because I'd love to know what you guys would like to see because there's just so many brands that you can actually try makeup from like I've seen who is it is it George as to George and they do found it I could do like full face of makeup in there um I'm like beginning I don't think I like my brows with this pomade on but oh my eyebrow looks massive on this camera but it's actually really not massive in real life like I don't understand why it's catfishing me but we move anyway but as if somebody would like to you'd like to see that video Because it's not just that, because like obviously makeup is expensive, like especially like the big brands like Jeffree Star and James Charles and Fenty Beauty, like they're all like quite expensive and obviously some people can't afford stuff like that. So I'd rather like, I'd like to do like an affordable makeup look and then like buy an affordable brand that I know like most people will be able to afford regardless of what your income is and stuff like that. I really feel like it'd be a good video because not only that, it's also like people might like to use different brands that not many people will use or some people may actually prefer to use like the cheaper, cheaper stuff because I know that before I used to love just wearing like even though Collection is like an amazing, amazing brand like their concealer's mint, I would always buy it because it was the cheapest and that's all I could afford at the time. Like these products I'm using, they're like 10, 10 pound, maybe six, like range from like five and upwards, which is affordable, don't get me wrong, it is really affordable, but then, you know, some people don't really want to pay a fiver for a concealer that might just last you like a month, do you know what I mean? But then you get some people who would literally happily pay £45 for a concealer. Which is fine because I would and I have. Um, and it is obviously worth the, the money but think about when you have to buy it every single time. Really I should get all my brushes out that I'm going to use for like my makeup and then just leave them on the table rather than rummaging through a bag. Cause and all the noise that I don't need to cause. I just press that in. Because if I press it in, then I feel like it just makes it last a little bit longer. And so <sighs> so the contour is done. So this is the contour palette that the bronzer, sorry, that I chose from Amazon. I don't actually know how I feel about it. This is in the shade medium matte bronze. It looks a bit orange, doesn't it? And I don't really know how I feel about it. We'll just see how it looks. Um, I'll try a little bit. It's even coming off. Anyway. I mean that is actually nice doesn't smell of anything I mean, that is actually really nice, I like that. I needed a new bronzer because the bronzer that I was using, I hit the pan 
and I know that because I've been starting to do my makeup like a lot more recently that I was just going to run out anyway so I thought I may as well just get a bronzer now and then I don't have to worry about like, not having a bronzer when it comes to me running out and then actually really nice colour it literally looks flawless like really flawless I like that I do like that So that's what that looks like. And the bag. Oh, my hair bronzer, which is there. And I do from the highest point of my face. There we go. You just want a little bit because. blush so do you know what i might actually this is from primark you know and this is just like a blush that i really really enjoy using obviously like i've like broke the, the glass but i got it from primark about a year ago i think and it's such a nice rose like um blush like Oh, this is another question I want to ask you guys. Um, why does my voice sound like really like croaky and stuff today? I don't even know. Um, what best am I to get for a brow gel? Because the brow gel that I have been using is by the Real, is it Real Techniques. I can't remember the brand of it, but I've like run out now. I like, practically run out of it, so I need a new brow gel. This is the highlight here, by the way. It's so nice. Just literally want to concentrate on that brow one. Brow one, cheap one. This is such a lovely highlighter as well, like. so nice I'm just reading case like this bronze like fades during the day do you know what I mean right that is I really like the colour on my eyelids though it's really nice I don't put a lot of mascara on. I just do enough so I know that I'll blend into the lashes. By the way, if you are the person that pumps your mascara, I wouldn't do that because you pump an air into it which will one dry it out quicker and two cause like bacteria and stuff to get inside it so you literally just want to dip it in like that and back out I wish I was blessed with good eyelashes naturally good eyelashes but I'm not the shite I could just never do a makeup look like I could never go out like this with no lashes on because I just feel like I look weird 
I have to have lashes on. literally just like that I love putting eyelashes on as well, like it's my favourite thing ever. I just feel like when you have like eyeshadow going along your bottom lash line, that your eyes, like your makeup just look, like your eyes look so much better. I've done that. And then I want to go in with a darker colour as well. So let's go with this colour. Oh my eye, oh my eye. The eyeliner that I got as well, and this is the the Big Gel Paint Pencil in Longwear Eyeliner Blackout. Oh, because I did have, I do have an eyeliner, but it's just running out. So again, I thought I'm just gonna top myself up with one. And I try, I did transfer. Um, So I was going to say I did transfer it, this finger then hit that and all the ends come off. Oh, uh -huh. well, looks like I'm not going to go right in with a pencil. Hi Sponchaz. I mean, I like that colour though. I haven't worn this in ages. These are so good as well. I've actually forgot how good these are. Such a nice colour. These are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. My makeup for today. Literally my makeup's up to now. I'm gonna say actually now that all my makeup's on, the brow gel is a good seven. Um, the bronzer, I'm going to give it an out of 10 because I just loved, I just loved that. It looks really nice. Um, the 
eyeliner literally a two because it snapped it just literally broke and then these are the lipsticks that i got so these i got the statements in the shade that pink like that is such a nice pink it's not actually far off from what i'm wearing now so i've got that and then i got legendary which is a nice like london red which is really really nice but yeah guys this is my makeup and that is the avon stuff that i got so if you have enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It will mean like literally the world. I can't, every time I look up I can see my, like, my eyes because my eyes are like, really, really blue. I forgot mascara on the bottom lashes. God. What am I like? When I forgot the inner corner highlighter. Chaz. um but yeah so please please give my video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video and please leave a comment down below what video you'd like to see next whether it's a makeup video if you want me to test out a brand um like a soup like a super drugstore makeup if you want to see any other videos please give me a comment down below or please just feel free to message me on instagram um and i will get back to you guys but thank you very very much for watching my video and i so hope that you enjoyed it as much as i enjoy trying these products out um but yeah thank you very much guys for watching and i will see you guys very very soon